Hey guys, this is McDouble. Today got a quick review and rundown on the new Samsung Galaxy Tab Active 2. So, this is an 8 inch tablet that Samsung hasn't really advertised as a consumer product. They have been really advertising it as uh, something for business and industries and there's a lot of design features where you can see how that's the case now I bought it because I used to own a Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition so that was a 10 inch tablet and uh, I used an OtterBox Defender case on it which was really uh, bulky but offered the most protection you could get basically for a case but I wanted to use a tablet as a GPS device in my truck for when I'm off-roading or camping and that tablet was just way too big I wanted to also use it outside whether sometimes for work or possibly while I'm camping and when I saw this it was basically like what I've been looking for for so long so basically it's a 10 inch or excuse me 8 inch tablet it is much more of a skinny tall form where the uh, Note 10.1 had the button down here. Now I prefer this because it is uh, shaped pretty well for your palm. It comes with quite a few modern features like it does have the facial recognition or eye recognition. So it does have the fingerprint unlock but as you can see there, I haven't used it in more than a day, so I need to put in my PIN number. So now you can see the tablets. Uh, got an okay screen, it's probably not the highest resolution out there, but I think it's good enough for me. Now this cost $500 and this one was the 4G version. There's also a uh, non-4G version, but it's since it's not really targeting uh, regular consumers, it's sort of hard to find. I mean, you can get it on Amazon. That's where I purchased it. But it uh, seems to have very weird pricing. Like, Samsung says the Wi-Fi model is $420, but when I looked on Amazon, they're selling it for over $500. And then the 4G one was 500. Uh, I looked on their website and tried to find out where I could buy it. They don't sell it at Best Buy. Um, there were two uh, businesses in the Minneapolis area that sell them, but they are—they're not like a store where you walk in and just buy electronics. They're more for selling uh, products to businesses. And I, I tried getting a hold of them and they never called me back. So I ended up just buying the 4G version on Amazon for $500. Last I checked it was $490, so it dropped $10. But um, that's beside the point. Now what I really like about this is... Let me turn down the screen first. You can see here, it does have a pen. And this is just like the pen from the Note series, which I also have. This is the most recent Note 8. And I do have a little case on it. I like this case because it's very thin. Um, offers enough protection where I've actually, actually dropped it a few times on concrete from waist height and protected it. Um, the big difference between the pens though, of course, you'll see right away is the one for the Tab Active 2 is much bigger, it's much more comfortable and again this is suited for more business use or maybe you're in construction inspection or something I do uh, that for part of my job I probably won't use this a whole lot for that but I do like the option of having it so, if you didn't notice, it does have a sleeve very similar to this one, but this came with it. 
then I can see the camera. It does come off pretty easily. So once you remove it, there you can see it's it's soft, rubbery, but with the corners it does offer protection, so I like that. Now, what's really cool, also really cool, is this is waterproof. So this is waterproof, and I can't remember what IP level it is, but basically if you drop it completely submerged in the water, you should be fine. Uh, now another really awesome thing that I liked oh you can see it right there this is removable and it has a removable battery which is a big deal I think to a lot of people especially uh, for businesses or companies that are using this out in the field they sell all sorts of cool chargers and you can buy spare batteries and charge you know 10 of these in a row or they sell chargers for this tablet too but here is where you would put your memory card micro SD card and SIM card if you have the 4G version the major downside to this tablet is it only has 16 gigabytes of internal storage supposedly the reasoning for that is um, companies that are going to be using these are likely only going to have a couple apps installed on them which uh, it's disappointing but I actually have very specific uses for it too so I probably won't be loading it up with a bunch of media anyways either well, here you can see there is a little seal around there that's what keeps this waterproof so when you put it back together just gotta make sure it's sealed all the way across and then you should be good to go so the specs aren't amazing on it but again it's it's uh, you know not meant for gaming or media consumption so show you my main use for it which is Gaia so I want to use this for GPS uh, while out in the field or off-roading um, recently went on a trip just last week to Voyagers National Park which is on the uh, Minnesota Canadian border if you don't know much about it basically just this national park with several very large lakes and there's no roads in the park so we took off from a houseboat rental place we rented a houseboat and you can see here I tracked our run uh, it wasn't updating the line as I went for, um, it's really picky but if you like rotate it like this and then back down like that it'll show show the line but it wasn't I thought it wasn't working so I stopped it and then restarted it so I was able to chart our path and some of these uh, areas there's buoys and uh, shallow rocks so you have to avoid them so it made our return trip so it made our return trip uh, much easier I believe I even marked a buoy yep so this was one of the buoys and here <laughs> you can see we had some trouble then we camped out here for one night the next day we that's this darker line is where we set off for the next day I think we went something like 25 or 30 miles and you know it's really it's really cool being able to track your uh, navigation like this you know I didn't intend on doing this for a houseboat but it worked out very well uh, here you can see we were looking for a campsite now these points I downloaded from the National Park website uh, GPX file so we checked it we didn't like the site so we backed out 
and uh, got another campsite. So you know that's Gaia. There's a lot of lot of features like that, but uh, like I said, one of the main reasons I wanted this is for navigating in my truck, which brings us to these. These are uh, pogo pins. So several companies offer accessories for these, and in the advertising uh, that Samsung does put out, you might see, for example, maybe it's uh, connected to a dock in someone's uh, truck or forklift even. So this way the mounts are made to accept it with this case and it'll automatically start charging through those pins. That way you don't have to mess with uh, cables. So I plan on getting a mount like that for my truck for when I go off-roading. Um, another thing to point out does have a headphone jack uses USB-C not micro USB which I like because my phone is USB-C also um, besides that uh, the pen I really like it's got the button here it's very similar to uh, my note where I click that and you can take screenshots right on the screen uh, take uh, just crop an image of the screen it's uh, good for taking notes by hand or even just selecting stuff so I, I really like it you know you can just you can still write on a keyboard with this but using this I feel like is very helpful it's also worth pointing out that this will work with can work with gloves and it can work when it's wet so you know they really I feel like Samsung really hit it out of the park with this tablet um, I wish they would sell it like a normal consumer product because I think it's that great um, a lot of people would I think like waterproof and shock resistant tablets but maybe the reason they aren't is because you know it's it appeals to me a lot so I'm assuming a lot of other people would want it too but I'm guessing it probably isn't a big seller these type of the active line because you know they make act Galaxy uh, phones like the S7 Active stuff like that but maybe they just don't sell as well as I'm thinking they would but anyways overall I love this tablet a lot it's uh, been using it for about a month now brought it out on an off-roading trip to South Dakota and thought it was pretty cool out there too so if you're interested in this I'll provide links down to where you can purchase it where I bought it on Amazon and uh, hopefully Amazon will uh, make it a little more mainstream. So, hope this video was helpful. Um, if you like this video or any of my other videos, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. It's, it's a, one of my secondary channels. Uh, I do have another bigger one, which is why I don't post to this one that often. But, you know, if I get more subscribers, I might <laughs> start going. My other, my other channel has like 4,100 subscribers, so most of my attention goes to that. Uh, I'll provide a link down to my other channel too. It's related to dash cameras. So, anyways, thanks for watching.